Hey everybody and welcome to another Brie Book Reviews video. Today I will be doing a very exciting, very large manga haul. I was going to do one big giant manga haul, but honestly there is way too much here so I have to split it into two parts. Part one will be all of the used manga that I got from a used bookstore, and then part two will be all of the newer stuff that I got either off of Amazon or from the bookstore recently. I usually don't buy this many manga at one time. However, I recently discovered a new used bookstore in my neighborhood, which by the way, manga is not the only thing I'm going to be getting from there because they were pretty fantastic and they had a lot more than just manga there. But I've been trying to find really cheap manga to finish up collecting series that I already own. And that includes like really, really old series. So I've been like on the hunt for like old Tokyo Pop titles and stuff like that. All of the used manga were $3.99 a piece. Because there are so many books here, I'm not really going to go into great detail about a lot of them unless I have a lot to say about particular ones, which I do on some of them. So I will try not to make this too super long. So if I don't go over any manga that you're interested in that I show you, please let me know down below and I will just, we can chat about it in the comments. The first six here that I have are all from the same series and it is a series that I have mentioned a few times a long time ago on my channel. And it was a manga series that I had been borrowing from the library and reading it it was kind of a reread for me. I've read this online a really long time ago and I've always wanted to own this series and I finally found these six volumes at the used bookstore and decided, you know what, at three dollars a piece I need to go ahead and start collecting it. It's sort of a long series but it is a completed series. I think there's like 20 something volumes to this series so it's not too too bad if you consider some of the other series are still ongoing at like 80 something volumes. Hikaru no Go, story by Yumi Hota and art by Takeshi Obata. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, Takeshi Obata is the one who does the art for Death Note and Bakuman, which I know is a pretty popular series on booktube, so if you are familiar with that artist, you might enjoy this series. I believe this series is older than both of those. You'll recognize the art style, but it's definitely a little bit different. You kind of actually see the development of this person's art style as this series continues. Like from the beginning of the series, the art style is very different from the end of this series, and towards the end of the series is where you really start to see the art style that everyone's familiar with, but I have always wanted to own this series and this series actually got me playing this board game because so basically this is about a kid named Hikaru finds a Go board. Go is a board game, kind of like checkers or chess and but it's like its own game. Very popular in Asia. He finds this really old board and it has a spirit attached to it and the spirit, Sai, attaches himself to Hikaru and Sai wants to play Go so he kind of forces Hikaru to play because Sai can only play through him. So he starts doing that and then finds that he loves to play Go and so it is about him becoming a Go master. I really really love this series. I guess you could call it a sports series. I mean, it essentially is. He competes in Go tournaments and just grows as a Go player. What I really like about this series, though, is that you learn to play Go as you read it. So when I was younger, I actually did learn to play. I played a lot online, and then I had my own board. I still have a board. Um, it's just packed away in one of the closets over there, and I don't play it anymore. I've kind of forgotten all of the rules, but um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, and you don't really need to play the board game to understand, because they do thoroughly explain it, and it's just a lot of fun. So, so I got a volume one, volume two, volume seven, volume eight, volume nine, and volume ten. So obviously I'm missing the volumes in between 2 and 7, but I they're pretty cheap on Amazon. They're just they were way cheaper to get these volumes there and then collect the rest online cuz I think they're like between 8 and 10 dollars on Amazon. You all know how much I love this next one and that is volume 10 of Nisekoi by Naoshikomi. Last year I 
when I was doing my Goodreads group, we even read this, I believe, together, and it's just a really fun, one of the only, like, harem romances that I actually enjoy, and for some reason, the used bookstore had volume 10, which, and only volume 10, which happened to be the one, like, I only have one through nine, so it just happened to be the next one that I needed, so yeah, I was excited to see that, and it's in really really good condition. Another one that I was excited to see there was I got more volumes of Prince of Tennis by Takeshi Konami and if you guys didn't know I own volumes one through three. I really haven't shown you guys my collection. I do plan on possibly doing a manga shelf tour here that way you can kind of see what I have already um, but you know how much I love my sports manga. I talk about it in almost every video so of course, there's no exception, Prince of Tennis is amazing. It is the first sports manga that I ever got into when I was younger, manga and anime. It used to be like my obsession. And so yeah, I continued my collection. So like I said, I had volumes one through three already. So I got volume four, volume five, volume six, volume seven, and volume eight. Another one that I was excited to see there, because it's been a while and I've sort of forgotten what this story is about, but I remember just absolutely loving it, and that is I found more volumes of Dan Angel by Yukiru Sugisaki, and I had volumes 1 through 5 already, so I found that they, they actually had 1 through 10 there, so but I didn't need 1 through 5 because I already owned it, so I went ahead and got 6 through 10, so we have... Volume 6, Volume 7, Volume 8, Volume 9, and Volume 10. And I actually want to restart that series very, very soon since I did kind of forget what it was about and I know I loved it. I'm really excited to get to rereading it soon so that I can remember the story because I'm pretty sure there's more than 10 volumes. I'm not sure how long the series is. I don't think it's terribly long. But if it ran into like the 20s, I wouldn't be surprised. I've been watching a lot of manga hauls, manga shelf tours, stuff like that. And this seems to be on a lot of people's shelves. So I decided to go ahead and try it. And that is, I got the first two volumes of Blade of the Immortal by Hiroaki Samura. And so we have volumes one and volume two. And I believe this series is is going to or has already started to come out in omnibus form. It's supposed to be a really awesome samurai manga. And surprisingly, this actually reads left to right like a normal Western comic. I hope that doesn't confuse me when I read it though, because I'm used to the normal uh, right to left reading of manga. The final grouping of manga that I picked up from the used bookstore is actually a Korean manhwa. New series to me, have no idea. I mean, I started to read it so I sort of know what it's about, but I don't know where the direction it's going is. And that is the first five volumes of Land of Silver Rain, and it is by Mira Lee. What really drew me to this series was actually the covers and the spines. I was like, those are beautiful spines. I must have those on my shelf. Plus, it's been a while since I've read a manhwa. I, I have an entire shelf full of Korean manhwa that I haven't read in a very long time because it's old stuff from when I was younger that I found in my garage. I'm actually in the middle of reading this first one, halfway there. So we have volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, and volume five. And they did actually have volume 7, and I really should have just gotten it because all I would need to get if I liked the series would be just to order volume 6 online. It is a fantasy romance, and we will see. I'm not too sure where this story is going, so... So those are all of the used books that I got. Please stay tuned for part 2, which will be all of the newer manga. As always, please leave comments down below if you have any, and I will talk to you guys later.